Growing is my passion. Odoms. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, today, we're doing a little bit of pruning. About that time of the year. Time to get some of them branches that's growing inward towards the, the tree out. And cut off some of your dead. And control your height. And what I usually do. I know most people use alcohol to sterilize their cutting. Sterilize their clippers before each tree. But me, I use peroxide. Why I use peroxide? Because peroxide is a good anti-fungus. Plus it, it sterilizes and it promotes root growth. So that's what I do. I use peroxide. Throw me some on now. And I didn't put it in a squirt bottle because I want y'all see. I actually use peroxide. And wipe it off. First one's up. It's going to be this Alberta peach. Let me see if I can't zoom y'all in a little bit so y'all can see. It's that Alberta peach. I'm going to be trimming her first. First, I'm going to work on getting anything that's growing inward towards the tree. That I don't want, and then any dead limbs and then crossing branches. Then I'll take y'all in closer and I'll show y'all some of the fruit buds and what they look like so y'all know. This one's going on in. I'm going to take that. This one. You know, it got a lot of fruit buds on it. Yeah. Hope y'all can see that. And you can pretty much tell what the fruit buds look like. The double bumps there, you see that? That double bumps, that was gonna be fruit. And that one, just a regular leaf. Yeah, but the double right there, nine times out of ten was gonna be fruit. That one's going inward, take that one off, this one's weak. Take that one, that one right there, it's down too low. Control this height a little bit, I'm gonna look for outward facing bud so I can get it to go the next one this one shoots out this way so I'm gonna actually take it to right here these I'm gonna control a little bit I don't want them to tall so I'm gonna take that one to like this this one this one look for another outward facing bud Get it back to right there. I don't really like how that is, but I'm going to leave it. Find another hour facing book for this one. About the same height. Put that right there. I'm going with this one. Another hour facing book. Right there. This one's going inward in the direction I want them to take it all the way back to the collar. That there. This. I'm strange, but I'm going to take that all the way to here. Yeah, not that far. I'm going to take it to you. This one in my head. Take that one to the face. Like there. Like there. I'll replace the foot. Like there. Got a lot going on here. This one. Yeah. 
Christian's decisions. And this is what we got a little. Zoom it back out. This is what we got a little. You can see. And you want to control the height of your tree, especially if you're in a small. You won't be up on the ladder trying to pick fruit. And this one, I skipped what I should have took out. That one right there, I get the whopper and get that one out. Anything growing in which towards your tree, especially on your peach tree, because they need a lot of airflow in the center. So you probably, you kind of want to prune to an open center like this one is. It's kind of like a vase shape. Let me holler at them dogs. Y'all hold on for a second. And this is the next one's up. It's that Georgia peach. And it's something. It's going to be, uh, I know it's the time of the season where people start buying fruit trees discount. And that's good. It's always good to buy some trees. But before you do, do your research. Find out what your zone is what grows good in your zone and make sure you get the disease uh, resistant variety like peach they they get leaf curl and brown rot and I made a mistake I bought peach trees when we first moved here and they were just any old kind I got from the local nursery didn't do no research on them they kept brown rot we hardly ever got peaches off them trees and we had them for like 12 years so I started doing my research in Alberta, and this Georgia peach is very resistant to brown rot and leaf curl. So that's why I got these here. So let me get on. And I'm going to start with getting all the uh, things growing inward and the weak stuff off. Then we work on the height. You want to control your height to the height that you want so you don't have to go up on ladders because you know this thing can put out more growth pruning is a stimulator when you prune it stimulates the tree to grow so don't be afraid to prune your trees i know for a long time i did and i didn't prune mine and they suffer for it get over here Them dogs, bro. Them dogs. And if you allow fruit to grow on these little weak limbs like this, they break the limbs. So you best you want to take them off or notch them back. And if fruit grows on the tip up here, it's going to break it. Too far. Got a lot of fruit buds on Get some pieces.
And if you see how they are growing underneath each other and these little weak ones like this, most of the time they won't ripen right because they ain't getting enough sunlight or not enough nutrients because it's too many. And you will find that with peach trees. And both of these is Georgia peach and it's Alberta peach. They're both self-fertile. What that means, you only really need one variety to get peaches. But the more peach trees you have for cross-pollination, the more peaches you're gonna actually get. I'm gonna leave it just like that. I need to work on this side, this side. There we have it. Now, the Alberta, them little limbs growing like that, take them off. Wooden thing, weak, damaged, dead, dead growth. That's what you're looking at for this time of the year. And I'll actually finna spray these too with a, a dormant oil. Dormant oil to try to kill off any insects that might be growing, laying dormant inside of them by the, over the winter. And then I'll spray it again. Right before uh, the buds pop on the flowers. And then I actually got some surround telling clay that I'll spray once the fruits start forming to try to get, keep the plump coolios from laying eggs and messing up my peaches. That's what happened to my red nectarines this year. I didn't spray them after they fruited. And I paid for it. Then it end up getting none off of them. And it set a heavy fruit. And every one of them was ruined. But as you can see by the uh see how that looks right there? Get a close up. You can see that's actually gonna be a fruit. How that looks? That's actually gonna be a fruit. Let me show you one that's not. This thing is loaded with fruit, fruit buds. See the single right there? That's actually gonna be a leaf. And you see them with the double knots like that. That's actually gonna end up being a fruit. Okay. There's a couple of things you don't look out for. Keep your trees height managed. And you can do it in the summer. I prune I prune my trees all year all year round. But I do the most pruning during the fall time. Thank you for watching. Growing is my passion. Odom.